Hey everyone, and welcome to the tutorial series for the procedural foliage placement tool. In this short video, we'll be taking a look at the brand new feature that I added on the 116 update that was submitted uh, very recently to Epic Games. So the first thing to do is want to make sure that you go to your project settings and you check here under project version that you have the 116 version. You can also see it on the image here. So this feature is available. If you don't have it, make sure you go to your launcher update and then come back to the video. So this is actually fairly uh, simple. Um, a community member asked if it was possible to add your own material as you're spawning your foliage. And that feature wasn't there before. I thought it was a nice addition to the tool. So I went ahead and added it. So to test it, I created a very simple test level here. You can see just the plane and I added a uh, spawner to our level. And I'm going to go ahead and under setup spawn, click on the plus sign for actor list. And let's add our foliage. So I'm going to add the SM uh, pine tree here. And if I do nothing else and I click on spawn actors, you'll see that we spawned a thousand trees here. And as we're going around, we're looking at all of the uh, spawn foliage here. You will notice that there is a slight difference in the material from tree to tree. And that is actually because I'm using a random uh, instance node inside the material for this foliage that slightly varies the uh, the hue of the leaves. As you can see, this is a little darker than this one, for example. But they're all still using the exact same material. So now we're going to take a look at how we can uh, make sure that we change that and add some randomness. So the first thing I'll do is let's go ahead and look at our asset here. So I'm clicking on this uh, little icon here to navigate to the actual foliage static mesh. And if you double click and open it, you'll notice that, and this is true for any mesh, that you have under material slots, all of the different material IDs that are for, um, for this asset. So index zero or element zero is the bark, index one is the leaves, and index two is the build board. So this is important because we're going to be defining the index for the material that we want to change. So this is why I'm showing you this. So now we know that if we want to add a different material for the leaves for this specific asset, we want to make sure that we use index one. And I'm going to click again on this little icon here to navigate to our material. You'll notice that this material is the one that we're using. <clears throat> so if we go back to our setup spawn here, and we expand this new option called SM material options or static mesh material options. You have a Boolean, whether you want to use the materials or not. In this case, we're going to say yes. And then we have a material list. So click on the plus sign and immediately you'll see that the first thing is going to ask you is for this one, what is the material ID and the random material? Since we know that we want material ID one, go ahead and enter one here. And for the random list, notice that this is again an array. So click on the plus sign. And in this case, let's make it really, really obvious. I included this sample here. These are literally blue leaves. So we're gonna go ahead and add it to our material here. <clears throat> and I'm going to go up. And now I'm gonna remove all. And when we click on spawn actors, notice that we have some blue trees. It's literally as simple as that. Then if you wanted to spawn more trees, say for this next uh, set, you don't want to use the custom materials. This override the regular mesh materials. If you simply untick it and you spawn actors again, the next batch of trees are going to have the regular material. And now we have mixture of blue and regular trees, right? It is important to note that um, these are uh, random materials, right? So we can actually come back here and say, actually, I want to uh, random randomize the material of the leaves and you can add more material slots for that material ID. So I can say, actually, I want the regular material also, and I want this reddish material that we used on the showcase level. That's already part of it. And we want to make sure that we check on use material. And what's going to happen now is when you spawn the trees, the spawner will pick a random material for this index and will spawn the entire batch with that material. So we're not doing this on every single tree. We're doing this on every single batch. So <clears throat> to make it more obvious, 
what I can do is I can reduce the amount instead of a thousand trees. Let's make it like 250. And that way, we, it's going to be very clear what kind of material was picked. So now I go to spawn actors. And for this batch, for the 250, all of the trees have the blue material. That's what it was picked. I press again and another random material is going to be picked. And I think this is like the reddish one. This one right here. And I click again. And I actually think this is the regular one. So you can see, I, I couldn't have uh, planned it better myself, but this is literally random, right? So if you want a lot of randomness, you can do it this way. You can add randomness to that specific material slot. Make your, uh, your batch smaller right here. And then just uh, spam the button several times. And every single time, uh, you'll get a new material for those trees. So you can see here, we have a nice little varied forest that we can see here. We also can add more than one material ID at a time, obviously. So if we go back here, just uh, for fun, and this is going to be a material list for index one. If we click on the plus sign here, this one is going to be material index zero, which is the trunk. And if we go back here to the bark, we're going to select this bark material. We're going to add it here, but we also want another material and we can literally pick anything. Uh, let's pick glass just to make it really, really obvious for material ID zero. Uh, and again, spawn actors. And we can see here that for this specific batch, we picked up their default leaf material, but we picked up the glass for the trunk. Press again. And in this one, we picked up the default material, but the regular trunk. And you can see here that we can add more and more variety. Like this blue one with the glass. I'm sure we can find some blue ones without glass as well if we keep spawning them. There you go, like this one right here. So that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, this only works for static meshes. If you are spawning blueprints, uh, like a blueprint actor here, that which takes priority, this will not work because obviously I can't guess the structure of your components inside your blueprint. You'll have to figure that out in a different way. And this also works if you're using the combined spawning method right here, by the way. So if you have more than one actor, more than one foliage, you could add another foliage actor like a palm. And if that doesn't use random materials, everything should work as expected. It will only work on the specific one where you specifically enable it with this Boolean right here. That's pretty much it, guys. Uh, thank you to the community member that suggested this. Uh, I think the tool just keeps getting better and better. Thank you um, to uh, you know all of your suggestions and feedback. Uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. If you haven't joined our Discord, please do. It's a pretty um, dynamic community. I'm pretty active there. If you have any questions, feel free to post on the channel there as well. All right, guys. Thank you so much, and I'll talk to you in the next video.